me show ya. Let me show ya. Hey guys, you are watching The Craftpreneur and today we are making this DIY lace up cropped hoodie. Super easy project, only takes an hour and all you need are five, just five things. There are a few more other things, but they're kind of optional. So you can do it with the bare minimum or you can do it with everything. Carry on watching for this tutorial and if you like it, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video, comment in the comments below, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I want to hear from you. And hey, if you really, really love it and you make one, tag me on Instagram. Love that stuff. Love it. Pancake loves it too. You gonna tell him? Subscribe to me. Subscribe. Please. Did that work? Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving now. Right, let's get this party started. First things first, you need to gather your tools. You will need your eyelet kit, which has an anvil, punch, a block, and of course, your eyelets. I used a 17 millimeter kit. You will also need a hammer or something heavy to bang them into shape. Other items you need are a hemming web, scissors, some ribbon, and of course, your hoodie that you want to DIY. So lay your hoodie down on a flat surface making sure that the sleeve is properly flat. Starting at the seam line where the shoulder meets the neckline, cut straight down the centre of the shoulder seam all the way down the arm until you get to the cuff. Don't cut through the cuff, you're going to need that. So now you should have an open edge just like this. Next, using scissors or snips, cut one inch across the cuff on each side and do the same for the neckline. This will create a flap that we can fold over and create a nice finished edge. It also reinforces the area around where we will put the eyelets. Cut your hemming web into one inch strips, making sure that you have enough to cover both sleeves. Working on the inside of the sleeve, carefully fold the newly created flap to the inside, sandwiching the hemming web into the fold. Then gently press with an iron to fuse them together. Repeat this step for the other side, and then repeat again for the other sleeve. Your sleeve should look like this when you're finished. Grab a measuring tape and from the neckline measure down one inch, make a point there. Then continuing down the arm in two inch intervals. Once you've done that, measure one inch away from the edge at each point so you know exactly where your eyelets are going to be placed. I ended up with about 12 points on each arm. Make sure you have the exact same marks on the other side, it helps if they're symmetrical. Now to make the holes. You can use the punch for this, but it didn't work so well when I used it with this material, so I ended up using my snips. The trick is not to get the hole too big or the eyelet will not stay in place. So start with a small snip and then work on making it bigger. Use the eyelet or the end of the punch to see how big you need to get the hole before you need to stop. You want a really good snug fit. Okay, we're almost there. Time to get them eyelets in. Your eyelet kit should have instructions on how to use, so I'm only gonna show you this the one time so you know what to do with the rest of them. First things first, place your eyelet front, the one that looks like a hat, on the block, and then put your fabric right sides down over the hole. Place the washer on top of that, making like a little fabric sandwich, and then place your anvil, which is a bit with the pointy bit, in the hole. Get your hammer and then give it a few good whacks to seal it together. Take the anvil off and check that everything is nice and smooth and if it's not then just give it a few more whacks to just smooth out any rough edges because that's going to be touching your skin. And that's it, you have put in your eyelet and all you need to do is do the rest of them and you should end up with something that looks like this. 
I decided to make this hoodie cropped but it had a large pocket on it so I just cut just above that. You can cut wherever you want or if you have a pocket you can take the time to take off the pocket before cutting to the size that you want. To get the ribbon length I measured my arm and then multiplied by three and I then cut two of that length. Then I got lacing. You can do any design you want. I went for the full arm standard crisscross, but you could maybe start a couple of eyelets down for a cold shoulder look or open up at the wrist so you can stack some jewels. It's really up to you what you do here. And that's the fun of it. You have all these eyelets, so much choice. You can do multiple ribbons in multiple colors. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. And here's the final product. There you go, hopefully you will love this as much as I do. I will be definitely wearing this often. This is a no-sew project, so it's really quick and you can easily get this done in an hour or so. No sewing machine needed. Please like this video if you enjoyed and if you are new here then I would love to see you click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more DIY videos coming in the future. See you next time, bye!